Hey guys, welcome back. So, oh, uh, just going to give me a second here. What a great start. <laughs> uh, Skyrim. 100% reliable. Never fails. Never. Thank you, Bethesda, for this masterpiece. A w untainted work of art. So I did do a few things, but I can't remember where uh, I left off. I did some things in between the episode. Ah, yes. Okay, so I just went out here. So what I've done so far, uh, first thing is we're going to put that into stamina. We are level 7, so we have 7 points into Magicka now. Uh, we are going to want to get Apprentice Spells, so I should have some Apprentice Spells now. So, we can go in here. I learned a whole bunch of spells. That's where I spent all my money, is getting these bad boys up and running. Uh, we are going to leave Sparks on. We're going to swap Oak Flesh for Stone Flesh. and equip Lightning Bolt, because that's going to be good to use. Uh, we do want to remove Ray's Zombie to reanimate Corpse. Uh, we do have the option, too, of also summoning. And basically what I did was I just picked up a whole bunch of quests as fast as I can. So I went in here, and you can see I got a plethora of miscellaneous quests that I can go and do. Uh, I can also... Yep. So we're going to talk to this lady just to pick up this quest. This quest is more, I would say, mid-game is where this quest is meant to be. Uh, but you can pick it up right here at the start. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Skipping the dialogue. Okay, we got that quest going. Oh, and you also see I went in and I beat up uh, the bunch of people. Yeah, get some free money because we're going to need a lot of money. We already picked up uh, her quest. Uh, there is no red guards yet from Hammerfell. Uh, I think there's also a follower you can get in here. Uh, if there's a dark elf in here. Yeah, so she's pretty good, but as you can see, we literally have what we want, which is a literal tank. Uh, that lady's more good. <laughs> okay. I, I don't want to hire you. Thank you for greeting me at the door. Yeah. Uh, I need it. Uh, okay, I can't, uh, I, usually I'm used to, uh, telling them their combat style, but I guess I do not have that mod available to me yet. Uh, so there are some fun things you can do in Skyrim, like we can come up to this barrel here, and if you want to, uh, if I get this right, I believe I can literally just jump out of here. I think it's a sprint jump. Let's see if I can actually pull this off. It'd be pretty funny if I did. Uh, let's see if I can get this. Uh, it's a little bit trickier than I thought. Maybe I have to be crouching? Oh, that's, that's the trick. Okay. Uh, so now that we're up here, we can just hop on over here. And, uh, you know... Just normal Skyrim stuff. So, what you can do is you can come on out here. As you can see, uh, we're only in the white run area, which only uh, has the outside area as what are called lods, or distant landscapes. So, some of these you can walk on, some of these you cannot. So, play your cards right, and don't have a bad time. But we really just want the one chest over here. We want the blacksmith chest. Uh, because that 
gives us the most amount of money. And it's the one I can always sort of remember how to get into at least. Uh, I don't think I can make that jump. So we'll just do the long way around. This is the hardest part of the trick right here. So I think I can come up here and I can walk through stuff around here. Can I walk on this? I can. So we're just going to, one of these things is just going to let me walk through it, which is what we're hoping to do, is find a way through the wall uh, to the blacksmithing area. Because if we can pull that off, uh, there's a bunch of items. I can't remember because I haven't done this in a long time, but maybe it's somewhere around here. So this area, there's an area you can walk through the wall. There we go. And we're just going to walk over to this chest. And we're just going to jump back to make sure we get it. We're just going to take everything out of there. Uh, now we're going to just travel to Whiterun. Uh, oh, it won't let me do it. <laughs> uh, what have we got for weight? Uh, we're going to drop a bunch of stuff. Uh, thinking about what... Well, I probably have two-handed, don't I? Probably gave me some two-handed stuff. Two-handed, no thank you. Okay. And then the rest is going to be dropping up here. Peril. Why is that one recommended over the sick one? Uh, definitely. Uh, Steel Imperial, sure. We don't need our iron stuff anymore, so we're actually just going to drop that stuff because it weighs a lot. Uh, but this bad boy up here is the one who's weighing, I believe, around the most. So we're just going to drop these both, and that should give me movement. Okay, boom. Then we just go over here. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so we just got some free money there and rob that shopkeeper blind. I think there's a few other chests that you can access in the game by doing that strategy. But there's a cool exploit for you guys to utilize. Uh, Greg Piss always takes what he can get. Uh, is she going to come outside, or am I going to have to go inside? Oh, come on. She also gives me a quest to carry a sword to a guy. I think he only gives me 50 gold, though. But, you know, money money is money, but that's what you could do. Uh, who, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Greg Piss has some stuff to sell you. I'm going to sell him whatever we're not wearing. Oh man, I didn't realize. Oh, I got all that iron, I guess. Yeah, so we're just going to keep the iron and stuff, because that's nice to start crafting with, actually. And we're just going to sell everything else. So you can see we shot up our money really quickly there. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, I'm going to try and do this as fast as I can so that they don't get out of town. So uh, that's why I interrupted them, hoping that they'll just go back to talking to the guards. Because this lady's annoying. She makes me walk up. She should be over here. Yeah. Uh, can I steal from that? Go upstairs. There we go. Oh, it started to open. Oh, they're close. A little bit right about there. Yeah. 117 coins for free. Thank you, Gail. Come on, go faster. Okay, come on. And just because we can, let's see if I can... Oh, man, that uses all my mana. Oof. Let's 
Excuse me. Oh, you wanted to get over there to talk to me. Yeah, Greg Piss will take money. Okay, so now we can go back to them. And we're just going to tell them that this lady's here. And this gives us a good amount of money. Um, so the storyline for the actual quest. So right now in uh, Hammerfell, as of Skyrim, uh, the Red Guards have separated from the Empire and are waging their own war against the Thalmor themselves. And they have actually taken territory from the Thalmor. And they have actually pushed the Thalmor back in their land. And this lady, for whatever reason, thought it would be a good idea to sell out uh, her nation for a uh, profit to the Thalmor. And the Thalmor, of course, are not giving her any protection, just ditch her. So the Secret Service, the USSR of the Red Guards, have come here specifically to get this lady. And they're actually in a cave nearby. If you go through the area, it's a pretty cool area. I do recommend going through it. But we're just going to come up to this dude. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm also going to do the main quest while I'm out here. Uh, grab that butterfly. Oh, I grab the second one. Easy money. And we're going to make sure we have this equipped when this happens. There we go. Skipped our dialogue. Going to do this. And we're going to go to reanimate corpse because there should be a bunch of dead guards around here already. I just have to find them wherever they may be. There's the charred body there. I'm not seeing any. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to run in here, get away from that. We do not want to be outside during that wacky fun time. Okay. Uh, I believe I can use my ability to regen uh, Magicka Stabs faster right now. It should be still active. Yep. We're going to activate this. And we're going to try and ruin this Dragon's Day. As you can see, uh, the dragon has a large amount of health for some reason. Don't know what that's all about. Something about mythological beings and that we're only le not even level 10 yet. Uh, please don't breathe fire on me. Where'd it go? Uh, I want to reanimate the corpse he just made uh, right there. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to go up here, reanimate corpse. Get switch this bad boy back on. Come over here. And we're just going to zap him. Not too hard to deal, especially when you have this many people. Thank you. Boom, 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 boom. And you also get some white guard armor. Where's the Greg Piss follower? Oh, these are all just normal. Where's the Greg Piss? Ah, here he is. He's going to die in a couple of seconds. I guess you can also do this. Uh -huh. Get wrecked, you casual. Take all the stuff. We've learned the shout. Uh, you can go in here. And we can actually use it now. There you go. Alright, now we get to go back 
to White Run and go talk to Jarl. You cannot travel to the thing because they want you to hear the Greybeards. They're going to yell at me in a couple seconds here, tell me I've been a very bad boy. But you know, we're just going to we're just going to live with it. Here it comes. Yeah, we did it. We killed the dragon. Uh boop boop bong. Yeah, there it is. Hello. They literally just shout Dovakin. They don't say, hey, come here, Dovakin, or anything like that. They just say your name. They expect you to 1-800 know what you're saying. Uh, these do give me gold, so we will sell those. And we'll start selling all the junk in here. And we'll start actually crafting. Uh, let's see here. We want to craft as much uh iron as we can and i believe the best thing is sports uh, axes do a little bit more uh so maybe axe because it gives us more money okay boom quick cash walk over to here what do you got for sale go over here uh, I have 11 axes to sell you. Uh, also take some boots. Thank you. Uh, she also gives us a quest, which we'll take. Uh, we're just going to talk to her. Yeah, there we go. So now we get to take this sword all the way back up here. Uh, how much money do we got now? 2,500. Uh, we do want to get Breeze home. I just wanted to pick up the spells before we got to that point. Uh, we should be getting money here fairly quickly after we... Uh, oh, this is another quest. Yeah, so she tells you about a legendary tree. This is a fun quest, but we are too weak. I think you should be around like level 25. Because hog ravens are terrifying. I touch this again in case I got AIDS. And let's head on up. Head on up. I think you can get that Kinnereth blessing if you go into the Kinnereth temple. But we don't need that. I think this is sort of one of the unique areas because there is the temple to Talos right there. And then there's the temple to Kinnereth right next to it. Not too many places have multiple deities in it besides other places like Markarth. We killed the dragon. It's dead. Yeah. Yeah, Greg Piss. The legend is coming for you. Soon I'll be above you, pathetic Jarl. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Greg Piss does not have time. Pay up. You owe me a debt? That's right. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk. Uh, I have your sword. Yeah, it doesn't even give us that much money. He's a weenie. And we're going to come over here. We got some disenchanting to do. It happened to be a fire axe this time. Uh, what do we want to do for enchantments? And uh, let's just enchant stuff. Get one regen going. Because we can. Uh, can I sell anything to you? Uh, let's see here. Not really anything worth selling. I'm not going to be wearing that. Mine will sell it. Those are both empty. So I need to start soul trapping things, which I believe I did pick up that spell. I did. I'll put that on there. Uh, when we get to end of conjuration, we're just going to... Okay. Yeah, so leave me alone. So we're just going to go over this way. So now we have the option to go up to the Greybeards, but of course we need to do more than just that. So we're going to stop the main quest for now. And instead of that, we are going 
to uh, lure this uh, red guard trader outside. Uh, this way is quicker and I have to deal with less people, so that's the obvious answer for Greg Piss. I would not go through the Alakir base just to fight bloody warriors for a female. How dare they think I am a simp. I will not simp. I will instead betray. Quick, go. So I can steal this coin purse. Thank you. All right, out the door we go. And then we're going to do a whole bunch of miscellaneous quests after this is done. Come on, let's go for a journey. Uh, let's start actually equipping these middle, these bunch of quests. All right, so now those should be on the bar. And we just got it. I don't know why they didn't let in the Red Guard Warriors, but they let this lady in. Inconsistent racism. I demand higher quality racism in my games. For lore. Solely lore. If they're not lore, then it's just bad writing. Come here, flowers. Alright, we're just gonna... Like, literally, I'm walking and she's full sprinting. Like, are you kidding me? What are you doing? Oh, more flowers to pick up. Gotta make sure you have all your flowers. I don't know why I'm getting Red Mountain flowers when Red Mountain is literally half the continent away, but... Sure. Look at all these dudes rolling into town. Oh, they're here to teach me a lesson. Oh. Oh. That's kind of you, because you have some heavy armor. I was not expecting this. Not in the middle of my hostage situation. Ow. That's not very kind of you. Uh... We must ascend. Eat every ingredient. Alright, now that we've done that, let's see how much Magicka we have. Oh, we don't have anything to actually give us Magicka. Thank you, game. Oh, I can see the light. Oh, he's still alive. Ow. There we go. He got staggered. Uh, I'll wait a little bit to actually reach in stamina. Uh, not stamina. Magicka. Uh, we gotta keep waiting for our friend to get back up here. Uh, this would be quicker if we weren't doing a pure mage build. Uh, so, two quests done. And I get to collect items at the same time. Thank you, game. Uh, ooh, why am I overweight already? It's those heavy weapons, isn't it? Where are they? Wait a minute. No, I don't see any heavy weapons. Uh, okay, it's that chest plate that's got to go then. Alright. Boom. And then we'll come over here, grab these, grab the contract. Uh, I believe I can also pick up all this stuff without getting overweight, which we'll do. And then we'll come over here. This guy basically just tased her. Yep, treason. I don't get why your character asks if she's going to be harmed or not. Who cares? She's a traitor. She's probably going to get executed. Okay, we can come over here. We can read the bounty. And we're also going to read the contract. And I believe the contract is the one that got us Moira. Who did that? That wasn't you, was it? No, you're unfeathered. Okay, either way, we got our cash. Now we got to teleport back into town to sell... Uh, wait a minute, what? An, I guess the lady unconscious. That's going to say rude. Uh, so we're just going to walk over here. You can see on the map I should have a few locations discovered of places that I can go due to miscellaneous quests. Not too many yet. Uh, that's going to be where you go to get the Nettlebane. Uh, that's a scary quest. Hog ravens are scary right now. 
Uh, we are a shock mage, so hopefully in the near future we'll be able to deal with that pretty easily. Uh, I should be able to fast travel now. And I got a bunch of stuff I need to sell again. Uh, you could sell to the lady just at the door here, but I may instead go to my good friend all the way over here because then I can sell stuff easier. I'm probably, once I get to the midpoint of the game, or the main quest around level 20, I am going to start trying to do all the Daedric quests to get those artifacts as quick as possible. Because the quicker we get those, the better. Uh, we don't need the bounty. We don't need the contract. Uh, we're just going to sell Dragon Bones. Those are the things weighing us down. Uh, he is out of money. What a casual. Uh, does he sell any books worth? No, no. Uh, he does sell Cure Disease, which is a good potion to pick up. Stops vampirism. Vampirism's bad. We'll also take that potion. And we'll go back in here. Sell him some more stuff. Take it all. I don't want it. Uh, I'm going to be wearing a helmet, so I guess I actually don't want that. Uh, and then you can take... Three daggers, a maze, two swords, and anything else I can sell you? I don't think so. Uh, I'm not at the point where I can actually use Orichalcum yet, so we'll start selling that. Quick, easy money. And we're just going to quickly check something, and we'll be back. Okay, so... I got enough time to squeeze in maybe one more thing. So I'm going to try and go up to this bandit camp. And see if I can clear the bandit camp out pretty quickly. Uh, if we're not visible when we take the horse, we'll have a good time. Thank you. And, uh, you know, just normal stuff that Greg Pitts would do. Such as steal a horse. Come on, horse, run. Run, horse. This horse is so slow. I don't even know if it's even trying to go fast. Come on. Really? That's it? And you're out of stamina? Aye, aye, aye. This is, this is a bad time. Look how slow I'm going. Uh. So there's a better uh, follower in Riften that I'm probably going to pick up than uh, our good old tank here. Which will allow us to get uh, a healer. Which is really good. And he also casts a whole bunch of spells. Uh, magic, I find, is generally more useful than combat. At least... For people who are willing to help you. So here we go. Uh, there's a courier here. And the courier has triggered the enemies. Which sort of sucks. Because we're going to run out of mana casting that. But this is where we're going to save our friend here. Okay. Get that dude down. Can you not? We're going to drain her of the mana. No mana for you. Uh, we might get shot by an arrow here, so I will check if I have a potion of healing. Just one so I don't die. Loot the next guy. Loot the next guy. Ow. Boom, bada bing. I believe our friend got away. I don't think he died. And we have looted all the bodies. And our good friend, the follower here, is going to chase down whoever is still shooting at us. Uh, there's a dagger here. Dagger, easy money. Uh, there's a mammoth snout. And it's worth a little bit of money, but we don't need to really worry about it. Because we're going to be getting a lot more of those when we go in here. So these guys have decided to set up a pitfall trap. At the end of a mine. Uh, please, follower, do not trigger the trap. Okay. 
Okay, more items. Blood for the Blood God. Uh, we do want to pick up the Mammoth Tusk, because they are a good weight versus money ratio. And there's two potions here. More uh, ingredients, which we want. We want the mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. And there we go. Ow. Uh, sometimes if you if you want to, you don't have to pick up the key to get the lock picking level up, and then you can pick the key up later because keys have no weight. I do not want to be mining right now. Thank you, game, for your consideration. So there's a bunch of people in here. Yep. So she's gonna start going off while we're just gonna grab potions. And then we're going to give these guys the good old taser, especially this dude, because two-handed is bad. I always hate when the bosses spawn with all this junk. All right. Uh, we do not want his greatsword, but we do want everything else he has. And then we'll decide after we collect all the bodies what we're going to drop. But... Before I end the episode, I'm going to see what's in that chest. Because that's what we've all been waiting for. Uh, let's make sure I don't have any two-handed stuff on me. I don't from the looks of it, so we're going to drop this iron stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, they're both about the same. Uh, is that... Slightly better than my boots, I guess. Oh, yeah, it's wearing iron. Drop that. We're still pretty overweight. So I guess we're going to drop that. And that should do it. Okay. You can see there's a lot of mammoth tusks in here that we're going to want to pick up. But I'll do that out of the episode. And we're just going to grab that stuff right there. And I'll say thank you guys for watching this episode. See you.